Hello everyone, welcome to Joanna Will Say. If you have been watching my previous videos, you already know that I suffered from acne. And of course, after acne, it will leave you dark spots. And I'm going to talk about different active ingredients that you need to look for in a product that can help fade and also lighten your dark spots. It can also help with your sunspots, melasma, and also with your age spots. I'm also going to mention some of the products that has really helped me in fading my uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. First of all, you have to wear sunscreen. If you don't have any plan or you're not wearing any sunscreen, then there's no point of you using products to brighten your skin or even lighten your dark spots because one cause of your dark spots is actually sun exposure. Use sunscreen that is at least SPF 30 and make sure that it's also broad spectrum uh, so that you'll have both protection from UVA and UVB. Another thing also to take note is you have to have patience. So, hindi pa pwede na pag ginamit mo yung mga products or yung mga active ingredients na to after overnight or baka isipin nyo after 7 days, right away maglalighten na yung dark spots nyo. It takes time. Um, you have to have patience and also consistency is also important. Yung mga dark spots na galing sa acne, uh, over time mawawala din siya. Basta yung skincare routine lang natin is with sunscreen and also moisturizer. Kapag healthy kasi yung skin natin, it will do what it is supposed to do. Um, like I have been saying, our skin is smart and it actually knows how to protect and heal on its own. Eventually, mawawala din siya. Pero if gusto natin na mapabilis yung pag fade ng ating mga dark spots or hyperpigmentation, merong mga active ingredients na pwede natin gamitin para makatulong siya na mapabilis yung pag fade niya. If you have acne scars, now these are the scars that are deeper. Um, these scars actually takes more time to heal and also you might actually need to go to a dermatologist for it. Ito yung mga marks na malalalim. Meron din ako noon. Kasi before, mahilig akong mahilig ko kasing galawin yung mga pimples ko noon. That's why I have pitted scars. Um, these kinds of scars are the ones that needs laser treatments or even uh, maybe chemical peels. Kaya pag palagi nyo ginagalaw yung mga pimples nyo, huwag yun ang galawin. Tama na yan. Kasi pag lumalim yung mga scars niya, pag lumalim kasi yung mga scars niya, especially if you are young, um, with me right now, I think I'm okay because I'm already in my mid-30s and so those are not really much of my concern anymore but if you are a teenager and you are suffering from acne and you keep on touching your your pimples it will definitely leave you deep scars and mahirap kasi pag bata pa kayo tapos marami kayong dark spots dyan lalo lalo na yung mga pitted scars it will really take a lot of time and also a lot of money for those to really heal the first active ingredients are AHAs uh, this means alpha hydroxy acids. These are your glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid. Um, these are exfoliators. It can help you remove those dead skin cells to make way for the new, new skin cells. And it can also help you smooth your skin. Kung first time nyo palang gagamit ng AHA, Ang masasuggest ko is start with the most gentle, which is the mandelic acid or yung lactic acid. Um, the mandelic acid and the lactic acid have bigger molecules compared to glycolic acid. So, it will not really penetrate deeper into your skin, which is more gentle compared to the, the glycolic acid. Glycolic acid has a smaller molecule, so it goes a bit deeper. Um, into your skin. That's why you would really feel a tingling effect. 
Yung HA na nagustuhan ko is yung glycolic acid from the inky list. Every time nagagamitin ko ito, pagkagising ko kinabukasan, yung skin ko mukhang makinis at saka glowing siya. Ginagamit ko ito 2 times a week and affordable din siya which makes it even better. Do not over exfoliate. Do not use um, HAs every day. You can just use it 2 to 3 times a week. It depends on um, how you feel with your skin. The next active ingredient is retinoic acid, which is the vitamin A family. Ito yung mga tretinoin, retinoid, and also the vitamin A derivative, which is retinol. Um, may mga retinoids and tretinoin that are already over-the-counter in low concentrations. Yung retinol, you can find it in different uh, skincare products usually you can get it as a serum and also in moisturizers. Meron din namang mga retinoids and also tretinoin that are prescribed by a dermatologist. Um, usually it's because it's for acne treatment. Retinoic acid is probably one of the most well-researched ingredient. Um, it has a lot of studies that can back up its claims when it comes to acne treatment, uh, brightening your skin, and also anti-aging. Kaka-start ko palang gumamit ng retinol, and yung ginagamit ko ngayon is yung retinol 0.2% in squalane from The Ordinary. Ginagamit ko ito every after 2 days. I think mga 3 times ko palang yata siya nagagamit, so hindi ko talaga ako makapagbigay ng review. Pero so far, it's gentle and it's good. The next ingredient is vitamin B3 or niacinamide. This is probably one of the most loved ingredient by many. A lot of the people that I know in the skincare community actually really likes niacinamide and so do I. Um, this is actually one of the ingredient that has really helped me so much with my acne. Not just in fading my dark spots, but it has also helped me in regulating my sebum production. I used to suffer from very oily skin. As in, sobrang oily talaga ng skin ko. Nalaman ko na nakakatulong na magpa-normalize or mag-regulate ng oil production yung niacinamide. I tried using it. I think I have been using niacinamide for almost two years and it has really improved my skin a lot. Um, noon, kung yung skin ko super oily, now I have combination skin. Uh, before, talagang everywhere is just oil. As in, sobrang mantika talaga. Yung, yung parang mantika niya na parang pagkagising ko, parang feeling ko pwede ka nang magprito ng itlog dyan sa mukha ko. That's how oily my skin was before. But now, I have combination skin. Um, niacinamide is a very beautiful ingredient. It will really help you with fading your dark spots. It will help you with anti-aging. It will also help you regulate your sebum production. Um, but it will do it in a gentle way. If you are going to use niacinamide, um, it really needs a lot of patience and consistency, so don't expect that it will give you results right away. I started noticing results when I was about to finish my first bottle of The Ordinary, and I just kept on repurchasing and repurchasing until I noticed that it has also helped with regulating my sebum production. Ito na yata yung pinakamaraming beses ko na product na nabili. It's The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Plus Zinc. Ginagamit ko ito every night and yung isang bottle nito, mga 3 months ko din siya bago maubos and affordable din yung price niya. Nakatulong talaga itong product na ito ng malaki sa skin ko. Just in case that the ordinary doesn't suit your preference, good molecules and also inky list also have um, niacinamide. Inky list have the same price range with the ordinary so you might also would want to try that one the next active ingredient is vitamin c so a lot of people also likes vitamin c anything that has ascorbic or ascorbyl it is related to vitamin c but the gold standard is actually the l ascorbic acid vitamin c is water soluble it is also a potent antioxidant it's also very nice for anti-aging the only disadvantage that i find with vitamin c is very unstable 
um, madali siyang na-oxidize. So, if it's L-ascorbic acid, uh, there are a lot of conditions for it, especially when it comes with the packaging. The packaging has to be opaque, UV light shouldn't be able to penetrate through it, and also it must be airtight. If yung nabili nyo na vitamin C is in a dropper form, um, try to finish it as soon as possible and also store it in a dark place. Uh, sometimes yung brand would also recommend their product to be stored in the fridge. So ilagay nyo na lang siya sa ref para hindi siya madaling ma-oxidize. The next active ingredient is hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is an ingredient that is banned in Korea. It's also banned in other countries. Um, there are some countries in Europe and also in America, it requires prescription before you can buy a product that has hydroquinone. Dito sa Pilipinas, I have been seeing hydroquinone in drugstores. Uh, mabibili mo lang siya over the counter. Hydroquinone is a bleaching ingredient, kaya mabilis yung pag-fade niya ng uh, dark spots. Kasi dito kasi sa Pilipinas, nabibili mo lang kasi siya over the counter. Isa to sa mga ingredient na gusto ko talagang ma-discuss, uh, especially sa mga Pilipino, yung Maxipil at saka yung RDL, meron, meron itong hydroquinone at saka tretinoin. Yung tretinoin, that's the vitamin A na I mentioned earlier. And then yung hydroquinone, ito yung isa sa mga active ingredient niya. Medyo matapang kasi itong hydroquinone na ito. And you cannot use hydroquinone for a long period of time. Uh, hindi siya parehas ng mga other active ingredients na nasabi ko kanina. Mga vitamin C or yung mga retinol. retinol. Pwede mo kasi siyang magamit kahit years na. But with hydroquinone, uh, it should only be used in a short period of time because it can actually cause dark spots as well. Personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with using hydroquinone. Magde-decide kayo na gagamit kayo ng hydroquinone, mas mabuti if you will have guidance of a dermatologist for it para alam ninyo kung gaano katagal siya dapat ninyong gamitin at saka ano karami yung dapat ninyong gamitin. If ever nabibili man kayo ng product na may hydroquinone and walang guidance ng dermatologist, anyway, it's your skin. Just be careful, be cautious lang kayo of using it. So make sure, use sunscreen. Please use sunscreen. Personally, hindi ko siya marirecommend sa mga friends ko or kahit sinong tao na magtatanong sa akin. Uh, that is because it's obviously banned in some other countries for a reason. If you will use hydroquinone with a guidance of a dermatologist, I think it's okay. Kasi may professional guide naman kayo. Pero if gagawin nyo lang siya ng kayo lang, uh, meron kasing danger. So just be aware na lang. The next active ingredient is a cousin of hydroquinone. Um, this is called arbutin. Arbutin is naturally derived from bearberry, cranberries, and also blueberry. When we use arbutin, our body breaks it down into hydroquinone. Arbutin is more gentle compared to hydroquinone. There is alpha arbutin and also beta arbutin, but alpha arbutin is more common um, because it's more stable. If ever na ayaw nyo namang gumamit ng hydroquinone, Arbutin can be an alternative to it. The next active ingredient is azelaic acid. Uh, azelaic acid is also used as a treatment for acne and also uh, rosacea. It is naturally derived from barley, wheat, and rye. Antimicrobial, it is anti-inflammatory. And this is also a treatment for the fungal acne, which is the Malassezia folliculitis. The next one is tamano oil. Tamano oil was introduced to me by Leah Yu, um, who is a YouTuber, CEO, and founder of the brand Crave Beauty. Tamano oil is anti-inflammatory, it promotes healing, and it has just the balance of oleic acid and also linoleic acid. So it can be used by both oily skin and also dry skin. The last one that I'm going to talk about is kojic acid. Maraming product na merong kojic acid dito sa Pilipinas, uh, lalong-lalo na sa mga sabon. I have tried kojic acid before sa sabon. Ginamit ko siya noon para sa acne ko. Uh, kaya lang kasi I find it too drying and also too strong for 
my skin. So, hindi ko na lang siya kinontinue. Pero, marami akong uh, kilala na gumagamit talaga ng kojic acid. Uh, na, na naglighten talaga yung skin nila at saka nakatulong din yun sa acne nila. It is an antioxidant and it's also anti-inflammatory. It is from fermented soy, soybean, uh, soybean filtrate, sake, or fermented rice. So, kapag may nakita kayo sa ingredient list na ganun, uh, merong kojic acid yon. Ang masasuggest ko is, gumamit kayo ng serum na meron nung kahit isa lang dun sa active ingredient na na-mention ko. Um, makakatulong talaga ito na mas mapabilis yung pag pag fade nung dark spots ninyo. I just want to put it out there, even if you will not uh, use skincare products that can actually help fade your dark spots, it will just go away on its own. It may take a very long time, but eventually it will just go away. Siguro medyo mahaba na tong video na to, but I really hope na may natutunan kayo. Just always make sure that you use sunscreen and you moisturize and never ever dry out your skin. Uh, kung gagamit kayo ng active ingredients and it is your first time, just start slowly. You know, don't overdo it. Mawawala din yung mga dark spots na yan. If you have reached this part of the video, thank you so much for sticking with me. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to get updates on my channel. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who might need this information. Thank you so much for watching. Eat healthy, stay happy, and take care.